Well, let me. Um, can, can you all hear me clearly? That's the first question. Yes, yes. Good. Beautiful. Let me first of all welcome uh, the finalists. Um, we've got um, five finalists from New South Wales. Um, we've got um, uh, one from Queensland, three from Tasmania, two from Western Australia, an extraordinary six from the ACT, and ten from the uh, the lockdown state. So we are scattered around Australia. Uh, fairly substantially. Um, I think uh, South Australia and the Northern Territory are the only parts of the country that are not represented amongst the finalists. Um, now, we're, um, we, we're well and truly past our time, so I'm going to skip through some things which we would have done because I don't think we want to be here until uh, half past ten tonight, do we? Okay. I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, well, we were going to do a tour of Magnet's virtual exhibition, and I'll, I'll just very quickly um, uh, show you that, uh, but suggest that you go in and um, have a look for yourself uh, at some, some later point in time um, if you haven't seen it. Um, if you go onto Magnet's website, you'll find the link to it and you, you'll come up with uh, something that looks like what you're seeing here at the moment. You can enter the exhibition and, uh, and there it is. Um, and then you can use, um, uh, I need to move out of the way, you can use these arrows down here to, uh, to go around. Um, but you can also um, you Sorry, can... Brian. Um, no, we're not seeing it's anything. Green. We're just seeing initial yeah, screen. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't understand that either. Um, it's terrible, Brian. Yeah. Sorry. Don't. If, if it's if you're showing the um, exhibition in a different program, you actually need to stop sharing the screen. That's what I'm doing right yeah. now. Stop yeah. sharing. <laughs> sharing is not not seamless in Zoom. Yeah, yeah. I'm resharing. See that? Okay. Can you see that now? Yeah. 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 So we enter the exhibition, um, and uh, we can enter full screen. And we can. Um, we can move around the gallery. Oh, see, yeah. uh, see the, uh, that looks great. Uh, Very nice. It looks fabulous. Um, and uh, there's also possibility of uh, you can start a tour, and it all happens automatically. For you. Right. So it, it does it does look wonderful, and uh, this is all thanks to Michael Silver, who has uh, worked so hard on uh, putting this all together. So, um, they look so great, they like that as well. They do wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Stella, we've got two people called Anne O'Connor wanting to join. I thought we already had two Anne O'Connors in the in the room. Me and Terry. Oh, is it more? Okay. Um, Brian and Stella, is it possible, sorry if you mentioned it then, but is it possible you're going to send us or can you post the link to this virtual exhibition into the chat window? Yes, we can do that. Yeah. Thanks. So I'll stop that share now and um, we'll, uh, we'll go back to, uh, to the program and we'll, um, we'll move on. Um, we've got, I've got here each of the, um, I remember we discovered it before, uh, each of the images. When you're going uh, back the state. Uh, on a wireless device, back to there by wireless, to get this effect. Some, somebody's, somebody's talking, can, can you mute so What do I do? Jackie. Yeah, what do we do? What do we do? What do, what do you mean? What do you do if you want to mute yourself? 
to the left. Do that. There's in the top right hand corner of your little picture. There's a there's a. Who wants, who wants who wants to mute themselves? I can do that for them yeah, as well. Same. I'm, I'm all over it. If okay. you want me to mute people, Brian. We, yep. Okay. Well, let's mute everybody. But then, uh, the people who have to speak will need to unmute themselves. So I was going to invite um, Jackie, uh, and I, is is Judith Crispin with us? No, I don't think she oh. is. Oh. Actually, Brian, I have actually written a critique for all the images, and I wondered if it would be, because not everybody is here, if I send that through and you could send it through to... Uh, Absolutely. All the that, that would be lovely, Jackie. Okay. That would be really great. So we'll, we'll just move through them quite quickly. And if you want to speak about any one of them, just interrupt me and, and say something, okay? Yep. yep. I, I really felt this was such an interesting image. Whoops, it's gone. <laughs> mind. You're talking about beige chair, are you? No, I was talking about the previous one, but previous I, think, one. I think it's going to take too long to actually go through each image. But yeah. well, Lind Lindell's here, so this was a, yes. This this image, I felt it was unresolved, but I thought it was a great idea, right. and uh, I think yes, that just needs some some more work. Thank you. Um, is, I think Louise is with us too, isn't she? Um, brilliant, Louise. Absolutely. I didn't know who. Um, I just felt the arm was just a little bit too pink, um, but a very, very strong image. Well done. I don't know whether Andrew is with us. Are you there, Andy? Uh, yes. Um, another, another interesting image. Um, I. Uh, in fact, I've judged this twice. It's been in another competition, so I know it well. Okay. Uh, beautifully handled, um, especially the light. Yes, I felt this was also a very strong image, and um, yeah. I like the way it's really centred. Right. Well done, Tracy. Oh, Thank this, you. This was a very powerful image, and although I wasn't sure about the, the triptych, um, are having different sizes, but the the longer I look at it, the the, the more I love it. It was um, a very strong, powerful image. Well done, Judy. Hello, I felt that these images, um, although separately they're very strong, but I don't think there was much cohesion with them. So. Um, it's sort of too obvious. Okay. That's an interesting architectural shot. Um, well designed, a good good balance in this picture. Yes, um, we discussed this image for quite some time and uh, I felt there was too much going on. Um, one of the judges really enjoyed it, and I felt that um, I, f I just found it a little bit confusing with the composition. Yes. Oh, it was yours, Roger. Well done. <laughs> um, yes, this, th there were a few of these images, and uh, obviously very conceptual. This has got good, strong graphic elements in it, but um, I just felt it wasn't, the clouds didn't quite right. The, the, the building is wonderful and the silhouetted figures uh, really enhance this image. I felt the sky let this down. Well, this was a very interesting picture. And uh, the more I looked at it, the more I really enjoyed it and, and very, very interesting doing the embroidery on the um, print. I thought, Tracy, this image wasn't as strong as the other image. Um, it's too much revealed in a way. Oh, 
This was a bit of fun, Judy. <laughs> yes, yeah, nicely, nicely lit. Um, I, yes, I, I, I think just, just keep trying this technique. I, I just felt the composition wasn't strong enough. Um, I, I think the, there's a good idea there, but it hasn't quite worked. Um, I think I think the color palette doesn't really help it, and I'm rather confused by the composition. Oh, I thought this was great. I can I can see it has been enhanced, but uh, lovely, lovely colors that really work well together. Um. I can see that, you know, the subject is so distressing um, that my, my eyes sort of going round and round and I'm not really focused on very much except the tree in the middle. And I, I just feel that there's not enough content there. I would like to have seen a wider shot. Well, this was very clever. Um, I thought this was a really, really good idea. Well done, Todd. Um, it's interesting to see the names against the pictures now because uh, they were anonymous before. But um, uh, I'm not sure if that was one shot or whether the bird has been added, but um, it works well. Not easy to catch birds in flight. Uh, I thought this was very strong. Um, I think if you'd cropped, Julie, if you'd cropped the bottom out and just kept the birds, I think that would have been a stronger picture. But um, yeah, it's got a lovely, lovely movement to it. Oh, the colour palette in this is just exquisite. All the judges really enjoyed this picture. And um, yes, yeah, very simple and very lovely. I, I found this image very, very powerful. Um, I think um, my colleagues sort of felt that it was too photoshopped, but I thought it was so beautifully lit. And um, yeah, a very, very good image, David, well done. I'd like to discuss with the photographers about these images at some stage. Um, it's, it's very, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful wing but I feel that it's very flat and I think a lot more could have been done with this picture. Um, this is a very, very good concept and I think it's a, a powerful image, but the sh I find the shadow very distracting. Um, it's, it's just this sort of lump on the left-hand side, whereas, you know, it, I, I just feel if maybe if she'd been taken further up, back from the wall. I'm not sure how much room is there, whether she was dropped in in Photoshop, I don't know. But I find the, the, the shadow doesn't really help. There's no shadows on the plants either, and it's a bit, I was a bit confused. Yes, another very distressing image, uh, Roger. And um, you seem to have got these down really well. The, the other judges really enjoyed these pictures. Yeah, this reminded me of a bird's wing. It was, um, and now seeing it, Roger, seeing it big on the, uh, in the gallery, it, um, it looks magnificent. Yeah, well done, well seen. Um, I think there's a good concept here, but it needs working on. And um, uh, I think, you know, if you look at the image alone, um, I th think it needs to have more content.
This is a very interesting image. Um, in fact, I wasn't really sure what I was looking at, but uh, uh, I like the description and uh, yeah, the judges enjoyed this too. So this was a bit of fun. And uh, again, I've seen this image uh, a couple of times in other competitions. So um, yeah, good concept, well executed. This was a very minimalist image, but very beautiful, lovely, lovely color palette. And though it's, it's a very simple shot, it's lovely. I've taken a very similar shot to this, <laughs> know exactly where it is. And um, I think um, if, if it, you need to stand more centered so that uh, it's, it's even top and bottom, I think it would have made it a stronger picture. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great building. It's the Apple store in George Street. Oh, this was terrific and a beautifully shot, um, beautifully lit, great concept, although the subject's a bit scary. And maybe we all, all end up looking like that after COVID. Um, yeah, very, very good. Well done, Sue Joyce. Okay, that's the, um, that's the end of the, uh, of the 34 images. Um, so now we'll move on to the, um, to the speeches and all the excitement. And I see there's a phone number who's entered the waiting room and I don't know whose phone number it is. So I'm leaving that to Stella or um, Gerard to deal with. I don't know who it is, Brian. And Stella, I was just going to ask if you could call me. I've been, sorry, I, I don't know which is your number, Brian. I've called you a couple of times by mistake. Somebody just joined the waiting room as me uh, and it wasn't me. So Stella, could you give me a call, please? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Back to you, Brian. Thanks. Okay, so Suzanne, would uh, you like to take the floor and um, welcome everybody to Magnet Galleries, please? Thank you very much, Suzanne. Um, now we'll um, we move on to uh, another uh, welcome this time, uh, but this is a um, a pre-recorded one uh, by Peter. Good evening. My name is Peter Curley, and I am the current president of the Australian Photographic Society. And on behalf of the Society, I again welcome you and thank you for participating in this virtual presentation of the Mullins Australian Conceptual Photography Prize. The prize was renamed this year to honour a bequest given to the Society by the South Australian Mullins family. Doug Mullins was a very passionate photographer and supported many photography courses in his career as a highly accomplished 
acclaimed amateur photographer. On his passing, his widow Barbara donated a considerable bequest to the Australian Photographic Society for the purpose of publishing a number of coffee table books of our society's members' images. Two editions were produced. In recent years, we found that the cost of printing, and in particular the cost of postage, plus the considerable volunteer time required to undertake further publications, rendered this project largely unviable. So after an approach to the trustees of the fund, the trustees and the remaining members of the Mullins family agreed that the balance of the funds could be used to support the conception of the Mullins. So, as the Mullins Australian Photography Prize. I trust that the prize will continue to grow and become a major attraction for photographers and artists here in Australia and abroad. Having your work hung here in such a prestigious gallery as the Magnet Gallery at Docklands in Melbourne is certainly an achievement that I'm sure many would aspire to. Suzanne and Michael Silver have been a tremendous support to the Society and to the Mullins Prize. And on behalf of the, of the Society, we thank them for the opportunity to present the exhibition in their gallery again this year. I also thank Brian Rope and Roger Skinner for the work, the tremendous work, that have put into completing this year's exhibition. Thanks also to the judges for their deliberations in choosing the finalists and ultimately the winners. I hand back to Brian now to continue the presentation and the exciting announcements to come. Thank you for listening and please stay safe out there in these unusual and difficult times. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Um, now, uh, as you've gathered, I think uh, the Lord Mayor of Melbourne, Sally Cappy, is unable to join us as a result of the, uh, the delays in getting this going. Uh, which is is sad. It was um, really good uh, that she was going to be a part of it. And I know Suzanne and Michael were even more disappointed that she wouldn't be actually coming physically into the gallery to do it because they've been, I think, trying to get her there for a while. So um, Suzanne and Michael, uh, perhaps you would be kind enough to convey our appreciation to Sally and tell her we're sorry that she couldn't uh, participate at the last moment. Okay, so now it's back to Jackie to make any comments that she would like to make and to announce the the major winning image. We'll be announcing each one separately and we're starting with the big one first. Thanks. Yeah. The Mullins Photography Prize has given artists the opportunity to express their creative freedom. Conceptual photography is about illustrating ideas, symbols and themes. All powerful images have an idea and engage the viewer. Perception is a reciprocal action. Viewers bring to the act of seeing individual sets of conscious and unconscious reactions that affect their response to an image. This is the beauty of images, even in their most minimal form, such as a single line. All marks, smudges, pictures take on a life of their own and accrue meaning under the gaze of a viewer. As viewers, we activate the thing perceived. You can control the image, but not the reaction to it. It's so important for entrants to read uh, the rules, research the subject and shoot for the competition, not just enter a picture because it has been shot. I feel there is a strong correlation between music and photography, with shape, form and storytelling. Visit art galleries, go outside your comfort zone, enjoy your craft. Sometimes Photoshop gets in the way of photography. And yes, of course, we have to embrace new technology, but use the tools creatively, experiment, but know when to draw the line. 
Judith, Julie and I were tasked with finding a winner and this selection was, was very difficult but unanimous in the end. We gave each image consideration and time. If two judges were passionate about an image, that image was put on the final list. If only one judge saw merit in an image, this was critiqued thoroughly and generally made the final list. I'm delighted to announce the winner of the Mullins Australian Conceptual Photography Prize. And that goes to Judy Parker. Well done, Judy. Excellent image. Um, You'll be getting the check to that value. Oh, Judith, Judy, you must be so thrilled. And uh, we just felt it was a very, very strong graphic abstract image. We had no idea really um, where hey, you Judy. took it, but well done. Well seen. Well done, Judy. Sorry, sorry I didn't mean to interrupt. Nice work. I had everything <laughs> muted. Uh, you can all cheer and applaud. Wow. Right. Well done, Judy. Congratulations, Judy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, I want to see. Oh, there you are, Judy. Yay, Judy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've, I've been waiting to be unmuted. Um, that, that's, a, that's a really nice thing on the screen there. I, I think I know the sorts of uh, things photographic that I'm going to be blowing some of it on that I've been putting off for a long time. But um, I'll learn how to. What I liked about this particular piece was that it wasn't just a revelation to other people. It was a discovery for me. Mm. And one of the definitions about conceptual photography was that you might start with an idea and explore it and try and communicate it. Right. But in this case, I didn't see what mm -hmm. I found at the time of taking the photograph at all. I took the photograph for purely graphic reasons because I liked the lines and the shapes and that sort of thing. Mm. And I was, um, it was a delicious discovery to find that there were, the, 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 the way the, the, the human mind wants to interpret things regardless, yeah. um, I, I sort of pounced on these little bits of, of landscape. There's another one I didn't use, which was straight out of a, um, a sketching study we had to do in art school and this is back in the night the first half of the 1960s i'm talking about um where we had to look at the work of an existing artist and mm. try and imitate that style mm. not very conceptual at all but there were some studies in a scratchy old green pen that rembrandt had done of a fishing port okay. and one of the ones i couldn't fit in here because it was such a little bit of the side of the dumpster that these came from um, that had, you know, it, it, it could easily have been from that sketchbook. I love, uh, I've been thinking about this and, and I decided I've got a sideways mind. I've got a mind that sees one thing and immediately thinks of something else and something else and something else. Mm. And that's the, the most exciting thing about, um, working in photography now I never had time to do anything while I was still teaching and I was fortunate enough to be teaching in art graphic design design oh, and photography yeah. at various stages over 30 years you can um, that's a lot work. of talking to people about their images and um, sort of um, responding thinking giving feedback receiving feedback I, I, I'm spoilt by that because it means that I've had the um, occupational reason to be practicing looking and thinking for a huge amount of my life um, and probably this, this is not boasting this is just that I am lucky enough for this to have happened the amount of looking and thinking practice I've had is, well, I'm 76 years old uh, and I went off to art school when I wasn't even 16 yet. So that's a lot of time in my life um, spent looking, thinking, responding to stimulus, giving feedback, all that sort of juggling trick. Yeah. When I finally got out of that game 
in 2000 and 2005, I had time to start doing stuff of mine. And there was all this accumulated uh, stuff waiting in the wings, and I've, I've not stopped since. And I've, oh. I'm, I'm glad the group that I work, or the groups that I work with in photography, mm. and it's very stimulating, and I love it. Um, the judges were unanimous, Judy. Thank you very much. And I've been back to the same site, and there's a new dumpster every week, oh. <laughs> and there is more stuff on every single one of them because of, our, of, of what our, our minds want to do with the things that's we exactly, see. It's yes, that's exactly what I was talking I'm, about. I'm going to be a, 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 um, a, a dumpsterologist <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> anyway, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judy. Um, uh, can I just say that uh, there are many, many people um, who are uh, members of the Canberra Photographic Society and Canberra Photo Connect and Photo Access, uh, three of the top groups in Canberra, who are all delighted for you and who are all so pleased that we get so much valuable input from you to help us improve our own images. So let's move on. Um, so now it was going to be Judith, but she's not with us. So Jackie, can I ask you to announce the Emergent Designs Award? Yes. Um, okay. Well, I'm uh, very, um, thank you um, to uh, Emergent for their prize. Uh, let me just, sorry. Um, it goes to the beige chair. Got a yeah. yeah, and there it is. Okay. No, Who, who's the author of the base chair? Sorry, Louise Alexander. Louise Will. Alexander, yes. So, well done, Louise. Excellent, excellent picture. Are you there, Louise? If you are, please unmute yourself and talk with us. This is. Uh, a mock-up of the voucher that will go to Louise. Yeah. Yeah, very strong image, the, the, the colour balance and just just that little pink arm, but, but it's very, very clever. Makes you think. Can anybody tell me whether Louise is, uh, is back with us? She was on the, the aborted one. Just had a quick flick through, and it doesn't look like she is there. A shame. Louise is um, from Western Australia. Um, okay. So, okay. I'm sure she was the lady who was still at work. She'll be delighted uh, when no, she. No, I'm the one that's still at work. Not oh, work. you're the one that's. Still <laughs> and I'm right. still there. <laughs> Do you think it's worth? Um, mentioning the text that she submitted with it. Do you have that in front of you? Um, no, I don't have it readily available. I'm sorry. I'm lucky enough to have it in front of me. Okay, you'd like to read it, Libby? I just think it's nice to, to hear what's behind the series if she can't say it for herself. Um, beige, she says, beige chair is about not wanting to be seen times when you want to hide. In a world where we all feel the need and the pressure to be visible and accountable, there is little room to hide. This image was made in honour of the artist's father, who loathed the colour beige. He believed people start to wear beige as they get older, as if the colour was running out of them. <laughs> anyway, I think it's a great image, so congratulations to the winners. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And now we'll move on to the the Memento Pro Award and it's over to you, please, Libby Jeffrey. Thank you. Well, first of all, thank you for inviting us to be involved. Um, and it's lovely to see so many familiar names and some faces out there. And it is my absolute delight to announce that the winner of the Memento Pro Award is Anne O'Connor, who is online now, for her image called The Price ah. of Water. 
and you you may not so Anne, congratulations thank you and for those of you who who may have missed it brian you did mention it before but the images uh, actually Anne, if i might read your text as well because okay. i think it, it it defines things beautifully um very topical subject um this is what Anne wrote rainwater is free but if it declines, rivers dry up and earth suffers. A cost far beyond water ensues as hope dwindles, waiting for the life-giving gift of water. We all need it, this blood of the land, running through the veins of the entire planetary system. It is priceless. The black spots on the pattern background are created by raindrops on sand. And then it's hand stitching that represents the blood of both humanity and the land in their struggle for survival as the planet dries up beneath them without rain in this time of drought. So it's a multimedia piece. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Can like I say something, Anne? Um, yes, it was interesting because the stitching came recently, probably, oh, I suppose recently, if, couple of years ago it was something I thought I'd have a go at for the fun of it when I was at uni and when I did one or two pieces I actually thought oh they'll laugh me off the chair you know I wouldn't so I kind of did a couple and showed my tutor at uni um, and he actually said to me well I actually think they're quite nice <laughs> and I thought I nearly fell backwards so anyway so from that I've done a few different ones here and there and they've got in a couple of places and this was one that I started for this which I've started you know not that long ago it took quite a long time to finish it but um, I finished it and then I had this one plus another one I'd done it beforehand <clears throat> and they were both there and I said to my daughter which one do you think? And she said this one. So that's the one that got put in. So yes. But thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Anne. Ah. And uh, congratulations to you as well. Thank you. Uh, you will receive this voucher very soon. Thanks very much. Wonderful. Okay. So now, um, oh, before we move on to that, um, let me ask, um, invite um, Suzanne Silver to uh, to say something about a new award. Are you there, Suzanne? Yes, I'm here, Brian. And um, what I would like to announce on behalf of Magnet Galleries is um, a fourth award uh, to to be part of this year's prize. It's a People's Choice Award. It's going to be called the Magnet People's Choice Award. Uh, and the, uh, we're inviting all visitors to the virtual gallery to take part by selecting their preferred image and contacting Magnet to tell us of their choice. Uh, they will be able to do that by either emailing me or phoning the gallery. And details of how to do that are on our website and all our social media. Uh, so I encourage everybody who has uh, entered the competition, everybody who is listening and watching now, um, please do take part in the People's Choice voting and uh, let us know which image is your favourite. The, the photographer who receives the greatest number of votes uh, will actually uh, receive a voucher from Magnet to the value of $250 for fine art printing uh, by Photonet Fine Art Printing here at Magnet. So um, a little bit of interactivity uh, since people are unable to come into the gallery itself and so uh, we hope you all enjoy taking part in that aspect of the MACPP this year. Thank you. Thank you Suzanne very much. We're delighted to have that um, additional um, prize awarded and uh, we look forward to learning which image receives the most votes um, between 
tomorrow in the 1st of August. So that's great. Thank you again. Okay, so now I've got to go back to sharing. And uh, now, uh, Roger Skinner, would you like to say a few words and show us this book? Is he there? Where are you, Roger? Is he online, Stella? I don't see him there, Brad. Yes, he yeah. is, but, Rog, we don't seem to be able to hear you. You need to unmute, I think, Roger. Roger is unmuted. He's already unmuted, but he's whispering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, look, he's got to speak again later. Where are you, Roger? Well, as it says there on your screen, every finalist is going to receive a uh, perfect bound book containing all the winning and finalist images. And that book was sponsored um, by Memento Pro. Um, and Roger has received all the books. And he tells me they look absolutely marvellous, that every image in the book looks exactly the same as they do on his ESO monitor, which is the experience he always has, Libby, when he gets uh, books printed by Memento Pro. Have you got a book there that you can hold up? I do. I was going to say, I um, hope I'm not stealing your thunder here, Roger, but I, I do happen to have a copy of the book on my lap. And um, I enjoyed a flick through a little earlier. And um, I am no photography judge, but I would like to say that there were some beautiful images in there. And I'll just flick through a few few pages for you. You've already seen the winner's work. But uh, yes, the, the book is available. It was printed in six colours, Jeff. Six colours on our Saturn 170 stock in a regular size, which is an A4 size. And we hope uh, you each feel that um, your image was has been done justice with our printing. But congratulations to you all, and I hope you enjoy the experience of seeing your images published in a book. That's a really lovely idea too, <clears throat> both of you. Well, Judy, you get to, uh, <coughs> who won the, oh no, Anne, Anne, sorry, Anne, you get to give it a, 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 get a shot with your $250 voucher, but yes, we hope oh. you all enjoy it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Stella, uh, have we been able to work out why we can't hear Roger? No, no um, there's no reason why. Um, from a technical point of view, he's got his mic on and he's got his video on. Okay. <laughs> this must be really frustrating for Roger too, I imagine. Yes, I'm sure it is. <laughs> um, I can see Roger's mouth moving, but no... <laughs> <laughs> no noise is coming out. Possibly some sign. Um, is is it too harsh for me to say? Have you got the mic on? Has Brian still got him muted? No, I haven't got him muted. Roger, there's a down the bottom left. There's a, a test uh, on the mute button. There's a little up arrow, and you can select your microphone. And also, there's a test speaker and microphone option which might help. Is that any better? Yes. Oh, yes. It works. Yes. Here we wow. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> I've got a speech. Okay. <laughs> uh, I did want to say, just quickly, I did want to say a big thank you to um, the team down at Magnet because under extraordinary and just diabolical circumstances, they've actually put this show together by themselves this year. Peter and I helped them out last year. But they've had to do it all on their own this year, and so it's a really big thanks to the Magnet team. Second one, I was why don't you thank um, the judges because I spoke to um, Julie and to Jackie a few times during the sort of process, and and Julie sort of said that they took the view that they wanted to actually curate an exhibition as well as uh, award a prize. And I thought, I mean, I've never seen that happen before, and I was really knocked out by that. And I thought it was a really, really clever approach. And 
it meant that they culled the images pretty hard. But, you know, I mean, they are the judges and you don't argue with the judge, you know, unless they give you first prize, of course. But, um, <laughs> but I did want to say a big thank you to Judith and Jackie and uh, Julie. Julie can't be with us. She's um, just had an operation, so she's out for the count. But the third thing I did want to say was that is a big thank you to Memento for coming on board with this because yeah. it's a, the book is really, really beautiful. I mean, Ian and I, my brother Ian, designed the book and we went through and did all the spell checking and all that tedious sort of stuff. And it was a really rewarding process. It took about three days to put it together, but it was a, a really enjoyable thing. And as Brian said, I mean, I had to say that the first time I sent a book off to Memento, I sent two, box simul two books simultaneously and my heart was in my mouth when I opened the packages up, but they were exactly, exactly the same as I see on my ASO monitor. And that's the way it is every time I sent. It's a big ad for Memento, I'll, I'll fully admit, but, you know, their quality of their work is absolutely stupendous. It's a terrific yeah. book. Mm. Colours are really, really lovely. And it's interesting that one of the ones that got chosen earlier was this um, one here by um, James McKenna yeah. of the... The, the muscles or something hanging on a piece of um, on a piece of sea life, and it was just extraordinary. The colour palette in that is really mm. wonderful, and it's just it's just worked really beautifully in the book. And so, a big thanks to Memento, and thank you to everybody for putting up with all the, the rubbish that happened tonight. And so, uh, sorry I took so long to get here. But anyway, so you can all go home and have fun now. Drink another oh, glass of wine. <laughs> great. <laughs> anyway, well done. Thank to you. Everybody. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So we'll go back to screen sharing and um, um, all finalists who are not APS members will be granted free membership of the APS from today and I, I know it's been done. I was speaking with um, uh, Renee Lalozio in the uh, APS office uh, today and she has she has done it. She sorted those people so it's nice to have this uh, another group of uh, the photographers joining the society uh, for the next 12 months at least. Um, um, now, uh, there, there's already been a fair bit of uh, thanking of sponsors and partners, but, but let me add a few more words. First of all, I, I really want to thank Gerard Jenkins, who uh, assisted Stella to sort out our issues tonight. Gerard is a member of the Canberra Photographic Society and he uh, he hosts all of uh, their Zoom gatherings and uh, he's learned a lot along the way and I'm so grateful to you Gerard for assisting as you have done tonight. Um, my thanks also to uh, Peter Cooley who has been supportive of everything that Roger and I have done all along um, uh, as we uh, so, to, and I just see at the waiting room. So that's interesting. Um, we might need to break some news to her. Um, uh, I want to thank Roger uh, for all the work he's done. Um, uh, uh, Stella for all the work she's done. The judges again, Jackie and um, Julie and Judith. Um, uh, and I, I think we also need to acknowledge some of our sponsors. I mean, we, we've got our partners, Magnet, who I think we've made it quite clear how, how grateful we are to them. My Photo Club, uh, which is the organisation that hosts the, uh, the uh, competition uh, entry page. Um, Australian Photography Magazine, Mike O'Connor from there is very supportive of us. And I'm sure at the moment he gets um, the email with the uh, media release that Stella, Stella will send out almost immediately after this. He'll be running a story on their online magazine. Uh, Memento Pro, uh, the society overall is just absolutely uh, thrilled at the great support um, we get from Memento Pro, not only for this prize, but for other projects of the society. Um, Emergent Designs uh, have been uh, great sponsors both last year and this year and they sponsor a couple of other um, uh, society things as well. And in question, you need apartments. They agreed instantly when we asked them to give us five complimentary apartments just across the road from Magnet Galleries. 
we gave them um, the names of the three judges and uh, Roger and myself because we were going to go down there and take over Docklands. I mean, as each of us pulled out, we gave them other names and they adjusted things and they changed the one bedroom apartment to a two bedroom apartment. And then yeah. at the end of the day, we had to say to them, sorry, we don't need anything, uh, which is just extraordinary. But um, the thought was there. So yeah. um, I'm, I'm now going to pass it over to, um, to uh, Roger and Suzanne to make any closing remarks that they would like to make now. I, can I go first, Suzanne? I just wanted to say an immense thank you to Brian. This has just been, it's been an absolute bloody disaster trying to organise this this year. <laughs> and I said to him, you know, last year I said, oh, well, I'll come on to the committee with you if you like. And he said, okay, good. And uh, we've just had, we've had a hell of a ride, but Brian has worked absolutely tirelessly. I mean, I don't know how many emails he sends a day, but he certainly sends me enough. And it's just absolutely tireless, absolutely magnificent input and accurate and great administration. So just thanks millions and millions and millions, Brian. It's just bloody terrific, really lovely effort. Thanks, mate. Really appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Suzanne? Thank you, Suzanne. Is she still with us? Yeah, she's still there. No sound. No. Well, let me speak on her behalf, eh? Um, um, if she was if she was talking to us, I'm sure she would uh, um, say congratulations to all the finalists and winners. She would also, I'm sure, say see you in the gallery next year. <laughs> um, she would also invite those of you who are in Melbourne to walk past the gallery and look at the rotating display of the prints, which is going to be in the windows from tomorrow onwards. They're going to shift them off the walls and put some in the window each day and keep changing them around. Uh, she would also be encouraging people to um, revisit the virtual gallery and importantly to purchase prints. Uh, you can't of course purchase Judy Parker's winning one because it's now been acquired by, by the, um, the magnet galleries but I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that uh, Judy can make other copies of it available if you want a copy of that one too. So, um, it sounds as though I'm, I'm back with you so far as sound is concerned. So I'd just like to endorse all those remarks. Um, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, and yes, certainly we'll be doing all we can to um, enhance everybody's viewing pleasure of this exhibition by whatever means we can do besides actually having people come into the gallery. So Michael and I would just like to raise a glass of bubbles. French, good, <laughs> good stuff. To uh, everybody who has taken part in this year's MACPP. It's been an absolute pleasure for us to um, put the exhibition together for you and uh, we'll enjoy it for the next month mm -hmm. on our walls. Mm -hmm. Um, while you enjoy it virtually and encourage all your friends to do the same. So thank you everybody and we'll see you in happier times. The, the, the virtual was uh, so timely. Mm. Yes. Thanks, yep. um, we, we're done and dusted. Oh, was Louise, is Louise Alexander there? I'll just have a look. Yes, hello. Hi. Oh. Yes, Hello. Hello, Louise. I'm sorry you weren't here earlier. Do you want to um, do you want to see who the winners were? I'd love to know who the winners are, please. Yes. Let me let me quickly go all the way back to the beginning. Sorry. And um, sorry, everyone. Okay. The. Um, Sorry, the winner was Judy Parker for that dumpster sketchbook waterside. Okay. Oh yes, fantastic. Congratulations, Judy. The Immersion Designs Award went to I have to see that one. Louise Alexander. 
I just got the email. I was like, oh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. That's, yeah. Very, very great. I'm sorry I missed it all, but I was I was trying to get connected and it, my Zoom wasn't working. And so thank you. That's amazing. Well, congratulations. Well done. We're delighted for you. And uh, well done. you can look forward to seeing it in print in the uh, in the Memento Pro book, which Roger will be posting out to you. Okay. okay. Sounds amazing. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Oh. We'll okay. say good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, well done. Bye, everybody. Bye. Well done. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night.